This is Changi Airport's highly anticipated Terminal 4, or T4. First of its kind, it's a technological game changer. Vibrant and positively surprising, it's a theatre of experiences. It must be able to connect with the emotional passengers. It must be able to wow passengers. Changi Airport staff have been working round the clock and against the clock. So I think the greatest worry is if the systems uh, don't work. So that is really keeping uh, me you know, awake at night. Will their big plan to create a high-tech and fun terminal take off smoothly? For the past eight months, T4 has been undergoing rigorous testing. These tests are called Operational Readiness and Airport Transfer, or ORAT trials. Changi Airport has set aside 12 months to test the new terminal in four stages. The final and most important stage is advanced tests, where volunteers experience the complete departure and arrival processes. Okay, so for this afternoon uh, trial, we will have uh, three airlines. By now, the team has conducted close to 100 trials involving thousands of staff and volunteer passengers. Any more checking back for you? Okay, ORAT is very important because an airport terminal is actually quite complex. We work with over 200 organisations. The whole emphasis is on systematic uh, testing, preparation and organisation of people will culminate in a high state of readiness and preparation for the opening of a terminal. Every staff must get on board because T4 is entirely different from the other Changi terminals. Self-service is the norm here. Use this screen and do this. What defines T4 is a suite of innovations for fast and seamless travel, or fast in short. FAST uses automation and facial recognition technologies. Departing passengers can breeze through check-in and boarding processes. Another first at Changi is new security systems. These ensure stringent checks do not compromise speed. CT machine, a computed tomography X-ray screener, provides a 3D imaging of the back. And this allows the officer to have a better view of what is the construct of the, of the bag because there's no shielding. Um, the officers can easily rotate the bag to see what it is. And more importantly, the 3D image actually produces almost a lifelike image of what the items are carried in the, in the bag. And then from there, I can then determine whether any thread items are being introduced or being brought in in the bag itself. Passengers are allowed to leave their electronics in the bag without having to divest them. And that basically improved their experience at the security checkpoint. Ma'am, no water is allowed, ma'am. You want to drink here? Don't want to drink. Body scanner is able to detect anything that is carried on the body that does not belong to the passengers. So it's a very simple process. Passengers have to first of all divest everything on their body. Once you get into the system, they just have to strike a pose. The scanner will take one, two seconds to scan them, and then they just wait for the results. So in the event that if they have a certain form of alarm, we will only target the search or the alarm location. This is very different from Terminal 1, 2 and 3, whereby if you go through a walkthrough metal detector, should there be any alarm, we will have to do a pat-down resolution. A new automated tray return system helps speed up the security screening process as well. Yet another first in Changi is the way immigration and customs clearance is combined with security screening. All done at the same location. People are always very anxious about this point because you know, I have to get my passports out and I'm going to take my bag off together and get it security screen. So to help you uh, lower your anxiety and manage the or enjoy the experience, we provided this 70 meter by 5 meter feature wall, which when you first approach it actually looks like a stone carving relief. But as you watch it closely, you see the butterfly moved or the elephant's trunk moved. And we even have a little cartoon of the Changi minions which can demonstrate how your bag is actually managed by Changi Airport. So it's meant to be a little light moment to break the relief of queuing, standing and getting your passport or security clearance. 
While T4 is designed to improve passengers' experience, some may need more time to adapt to the new norm. How do I, how it's, do I... Okay, it's supposed to be this way, sir. You have to check in here. Oh, check in there? Okay. Yes. There are quite a number of passengers needed quite a fair bit of uh, guidance, uh, especially for the elderly, uh, the older folks who are not very savvy in terms of uh, use of uh, technology. So we will need to have quite a number of our staff on hand to make sure that they are able to actually go through the uh, processes uh, quite easily. The airport staff are trained to handle all possible situations. But how prepared are they for the unexpected? The ORAT trials will now find out. Today, volunteer passengers are testing T4's seamless operations. Minutes into the ORAT trial, a situation crops up, an unclaimed bag. Will you check for the ID, whether if there's any ID on the bag? Whether you can any hard to Okay, so what will you do? I will just bring it to the information counter with the okay. witness whether they want to open up. And it's you hand over to the information CDs counter. and they will lock it as a lost and found? Yes. Okay. The staff reacted uh, quite according to the standard operating procedure. Yeah, so it was a pass for this uh, security officer. The staff are indeed well prepared. But are the FAR systems ready to go live? We have invested a lot of time, energy, and also a lot of hard work right, and into making the FAR system work. So I think the greatest worry is if the systems uh, don't work and if they fail, whether we have enough time to rectify from the faults picked up during the ORAT trials to be in time for Terminal 4 opening. Right, so that is really what's keeping uh, me, you know, away at night. <laughs> T4 is getting a reality check soon. How prepared is the team to handle the first ORAT trial involving a live commercial flight? Uh, Kalam, Kalam. Yeah, we have a back jam over at uh, Dragon Roll 4. on deck as the T4 team prepares to welcome and send off their first real passengers at an ORAT trial. Just make sure they know the operating procedure. Tonight, an Air Asia flight from Kuala Lumpur is expected to arrive at 10 minutes past 9. The same airplane will depart for the Malaysian capital at 9.50 p.m. That is, if all goes according to plan. One of the Changi Airport staff is going on a business trip. He has booked a seat on the departing AirAsia flight. All goes well. Until he tries to check in his bag. Kalam, Kalam. Yeah, we have a back jam over at uh, Dragon Roll 4. Fortunately, the alarm is short lived. But the team is not taking any chances. We are a few hours away from our first arrival flight, so our team is all fully prepared. We have in place actually some of the contingency plans just to make sure that actually. Uh, should the system fail, we have a fallback plan in place. The airline staff are all geared up as well. In Terminal 1, as a check-in staff, we were all behind the desk checking in. So as of now, you know, in Terminal 4, everything is like automated. So we are like basically going to be the brand ambassadors of AirAsia. So we're going to be interacting more with them. On top of that, you know, there will be a personal touch to it. OK, OK, Roger. We'll wait for them over at the uh, entrance floor. Finally. For many passengers, self-check-in and bag drop takes less than five minutes in total. This is almost half the time typically taken to queue and use the manual system. But for those facing hiccups, help is near, just so no one misses the flight. 
or get separated from his luggage. Just now the machine picked out the old tech, so we thought it was the old tech. For the more tech-savvy, fast makes good sense as the way forward. I prefer self-service. You don't wait, because maybe one person is working. Many people are waiting, you just self-service, okay, let's go. I think it will be better. This is really uh, something that Singapore should be proud of, because really when we talk about being a smart nation, it's about being able to clear things, do things fast. And I think this is a very seamless uh, clearance process. I think the part that amazed me was after I cleared the custom, I didn't see any policemen, and I'm very impressed with it. After checking in and clearing immigration, it's time to chill before boarding the flight. Meanwhile, AK-9723 arrives. Back at the departure transit hall, their blissful indulgence is about to end. Minutes later... All stations, all stations. We are still down by one passenger. Please look through all the touch points. Hey, here, here, here. Passive, passive. Yeah. Here. As the Airbus A320 sets off on its maiden journey from T4, the live flight trial ends on a high. Fortunately, there was, uh, it was quite uneventful. Uh, the flight actually came in on time and managed to depart on, uh, on time as well. So managed to actually catch up with some of the passengers. I'm heartened to see that actually they quite enjoy uh, the facilities down here and overall it was a quite a happy uh, outcome. The flight went extremely well. The operation was smooth. Uh, there was no hiccups along the way. Um, we were able to try out our new system with real-life passenger. There wasn't any stressful moment at all. Most of the passengers are excited to learn, so that's why we are there to give an extra touch point to the passengers. They say it was, it's very easy because everything is step by step. Still, there is room for improvement. Uh, many passengers today have never taken a bag before, so I wasn't surprised to also see some passengers today still needing quite a bit of assistance uh, from the airline and grounding agents to guide them to take their bag. So bag tagging is definitely I think, one area for FAST that we continue to work on. We are already reviewing the bag tag uh, design, hopefully before T4 opens, even introduce a new tag. Of course, the other thing will be things like signages and communication to passengers. Finally, also, um, working with Immigration and Checkpoint Authority to try and further improve the processing rate of the fingerprint scanner. The deadline, 31st October, just four months away. Will the Changi Airport team be able to fine-tune T4 in time? And how will passengers react to the new travel experience? may be Changi's smallest terminal. But it can handle up to 16 million passengers a year. That is 70% of the capacity of T3, Changi's largest terminal. The secret to T4's high productivity is its advanced fast technologies. A strategic advantage that Cathay Pacific recognizes from day one. The airline is the first of nine full-service and low-cost carriers to decide to shift its operation to T4. Our strategy in driving future airport experience is very simple, high-tech, high-touch. That is, while we make best use of technology to provide convenience for our customers, we will continue to work at enhancing our personal touch. Operating out of T4 will give us the unique opportunity to achieve this. The complete suite of fast and seamless travel initiative will, ena will enable us to provide customers with more control and more choice, reducing queuing time as well as reducing stress. 
It enabled the airline to focus less on processes but more on customers. Airline staff are not the only ones working smarter at T4. T4 is a R&D terminal, so we try to try out new technologies and new processes to make the job of our housekeepers easier. So, for example, the use of robotics is to help them. T4 needs 4,000 staff to keep it operating seamlessly, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And what could motivate them better than a conducive workplace? We have designed T4 to be a staff-centric terminal as much as we make it a passenger-friendly terminal. We have uh, created lounges for staff at both the land side and air side. The lounges are open to all airport staff. We have brightened up the whole baggage handling area. We have also deliberately piped cold air so that the staff will feel comfortable and cool you know, as they go about doing the, the work. So we have mandated that all the equipment, all the tractors in the baggage handling area must be electric uh, so that the whole environment can be quieter and does not have a lot of fumes. So that uh, will make it more, condu more conducive for staff to work. Now that T4 has the welfare of staff and the well-being of passengers all covered, it's time to raise its curtains. With only four weeks to opening day, the Changi Airport team steps up efforts to spruce up the place. Oh, good. Above 80. The gloss level of the floor actually is important for T4 because we need to maintain a certain gloss level to make sure that it reflects the light well and complements our design intent, a bright and airy terminal, so that um, everyone will feel uh, comfortable in this airy, uh, bright environment. For Chua Ching Hock, the live commercial flight trial conducted three months ago has offered many learning points. After the, the Air Asia live flight, for the back tech, we have actually come out with a new design and have already rolled out on, on ground with uh, passengers in existing terminals. Yes, this is yep. a new layout. So far, receiving fairly good feedback. Right? In terms of the uh, comm communication, we have loaded uh, you know, fast touch point videos at the check-in area to better guide passengers, you know, um, how to take their bag and the process they need to go through. All right, and then the last point, in regards to the fingerprint scanner, we've also worked very, very hard and very closely with the Immigration and Checkpoint Authority, ICA, to look at the data generated and adjust the configuration, uh, such that, you know, for subsequent trials, we have seen that the readability and the transaction rate for the fingerprint scanner is actually better. At last, T4 is ready. Have a, have a pleasant flight later on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good flight. Yes. With the fast systems running without a glitch, all 250 passengers check in with plenty of time to spare. I feel like this airport is one of the most safe airports in the world. I feel like this airport is more than ever before. It's more than ever before. I don't need to wait for it. It's very fast. I feel like from buying the ticket to the airport, I only used it for about 15 minutes. Meanwhile, Cathay Pacific Flight CX-659 arrives from Hong Kong. The Changi Airport team welcomes the passengers who are making history with more than a little fanfare. So when I arrive, balloons, uh, flowers, breakfast, I was like, wow. And then all the decoration, it was just amazing, just very great. My first time here in Singapore and just uh, the, by the, it's the first day and I'm like, well, if it's like this for the rest of my trip, and I'm going to definitely love uh, Singapore. A record 58.7 million passengers passed through Changi Airport in 2016. With T4 on board, Changi can boost its capacity to more than 80 million passengers a year. To stay ahead, we have to get three fundamentals correct. One is capacity. We have to make sure that the uh, capacity is built ahead of demand. Project Jewel 
runway three construction is important to capture the growth in the next 10 years or so. In terms of flexibility, we have to adapt to the changing business models of airlines. The third fundamental is really partnership. Changi has been successful because um, we have been able to get the whole ecosystem to collaborate to face common challenges. As T4 delights and dazzles, the aviation world will be watching Changi's next move. We are putting in the latest thinking in design, in entertainment, in technology. Because T4 will be used as a test bed for what we do in T5. So in technology system for creating efficiency for passengers' flow, using biometrics from checking in your luggage to clearance to the boarding to the plane, all these are using uh, facial recognition. I think we are almost the first in the world and uh, we think the others will follow. For design, we know that it is relatively a smaller terminal. So we want to put in the best of architecture, interior and fixtures design. Entertainment, we have this LED wall in front of the security checkpoint. That will really thrill uh, visitors. The Peranakan show is uh, really a show stealer. And I think we're going to try that and see how we could evolve that into different types of uh, entertainment that will keep passengers happily occupied. Probably the most important lesson for us was the emotional aspect of making a terminal lovable. That was kind of hubris and intent we started with uh, four years ago when we started the journey of building T4. Uh, if we can make this work for a small plot of land in Terminal 4, how much more the opportunities and possibilities will be in that 1,000 hectares for Terminal 5 in Changi East. In partnership with Changi Airport Group.